What's up? Don't forget to subscribe if you guys want me to make your characters. Let me know in the comment section below. Uh, I will sculpt your character the best comment that I like. This is the one that I'll sculpt. And I also make videos about um, this topic as well, as well as asking what mini game and that I should make whichever comment that I like the most whenever I post those videos. The ones that I'll do. Subscribe, hit the bell. I'm Young Text YouTube and Dreams Young Text on YouTube and Twitch. So follow there. Subscribe, hit the bell for here and join the Dreams PS4 Mino. So, how do you easily make a point and click game with? the gadget right here so all you gotta do is press this press l1 and x on this then search or create from in sculpt mode after you press l1 and x sculpt mode is right here or search for whatever you are going to use for your cursor or whatever you're going to use to make your game next all you got to do is place it down slide it to whatever size you want to do accordingly and then what you'd want to do place it in the right spot you probably want to place it somewhere in the center right here it just makes sense to place it conjunction wise. You'll probably wanna make this um, the sword non-collidable by pressing all this stuff. And then you might want to press L1 and X and make it to where the big menu comes up and do uncollidable right here um, for all these options as well. If this is like falling, that means it's movable and you have to take it off of movable by clicking this right here. You can also label it if you want to. After you've made it uncollidable or whatever setting you're going to do, next you want to go to the purple imp thing, press L1 and square on it. So you can make point and click games or you can just make a slash type thing while you're walking. If you want to make some kind of spell or some kind of attack, this is what you can do with it. You can choose the controller type right here. And uh, this is just wireless or if you want to make it to where you can use, I guess, both. I'm not sure. Um, then you can click that, but this is for the controller. And I have a VR, but I do not have these um, wireless things because um, Sony discontinued making those unless you bought the VR headset with it, I do believe. So that's why I don't have this. And right now they cost like $120 for two. Um, you can get the PS3 kind and it's a little bit cheaper, but it's still like $40 uh, for just one, which is why I don't have those. Because I I, I, I I gotta have I gotta get it I, I'm just gonna wait because it just seems like it's just too much it's just too much <laughs> uh, you could click this I might get it though guys don't worry and you can look through in all these other settings it seems like there's some kind of grab item option I'm not sure but it says something about that right here it says set grab point or grab sensor I'm not sure what a grab point is. I guess you can grab it with the imp. That's what I'm guessing. So I'm not sure if that means like an easy item grab. I do have how to make items tutorial and it's pretty easy, but uh, I do believe this is talking about in conjunction with the grab sensor or sensing a grab with this, uh, whenever, like if it want, if you needed it to sense whenever an item, and here's the grab sensor. If you, I think this is just to make it to where it can turn whatever you group with the purple thing into a grab sensor without using the grab sensor. That's what I think it is. In order to make an object grabbable like this, what you would do is go here and click that. And then I believe it turn this into a grab sensor. I think that's what it's doing. You got somebody can correct me on that, but I do believe that's what it's doing. And you can choose this to gun style, whatnot, and then you can check out these settings as well. It's just hit position, easily figure out what position. Do math stuff with that. And this should be what it's doing right here. And that's why you want to make sure uh make this uh, cursor and not collidable so it doesn't do stuff like that. But so you can easily use this as a point and click or a slash even. You know, if you swing fast enough, maybe you can make it a slash uh, or even a magic attack. Click magic spell, and then it's up here for a duration of time. That's the kind of uh, stuff you can do with it. You can get like creative with it if you want to, whatnot. So should be an option in here to make the imp invisible as well. You can also use the um, something else global game setting or even the camera setting to make it invisible as well. So you could check out my tutorial on how to use the face tracker. This is how you use the hand imp trapper tracker. This is how you, uh, I have the tutorial on how to use the face tracker. And if you make this stuff movable, it makes the, uh, it makes the actual gadget movable as well. So these two things are gadgets, really useful and really cool to use if you guys want to easily make first person shooter type concepts or even 
make sub menus or health bars the face gadget right here you can make easily make sub menus and health bars with this as you can see this is grouped with that because this is looking at where the camera is pointing making it to where this stuff sculptures or even flax are um essentially uh moving with the camera the same way a texas flare would so this is how you do that kind of stuff you can change the color of the gadget i guess right here and subscribe hit the bell uh, let me know what character you guys want me to make and press the tweak menu and stuff right here. Label stuff as well. Peace out. Hit the bell. Uh, join the Dreams PS4 Amino. Tell me a game or a character that you guys want me to make. And be on the lookout for the video asking for that kind of stuff as well. Best comment that I like is the one that I use. Who knows, I'd use it maybe if you guys suggest a good one on this video. Peace out, subscribe. Probably said that a billion times.